All right, what is up guys? So we got some stuff going on today. Got the new traction bar set in the mail and gonna install that today. But first I'm gonna take you guys for a drive. I wanna show you the transmission on that Explorer. I mentioned in a previous video that I feel like I can fix it pretty cheap or might be able to fix it pretty cheap and show you why. So I'm gonna take you for a drive and let's do that. So this is gonna start kind of a playlist on how I'm fixing that transmission and what needs to happen. So hopefully this can maybe help somebody that has similar issues with the that type of transmission. It sounds like it's very common for those transmissions to be terrible so let's get started all right what's up guys welcome back so today uh, i'm driving around in the exploder a little bit and just doing some testing so i've been playing with it for a couple days but i wanted to show you guys what i've been doing so i'm able to pretty much confirm that it does have all five gears and all five gears are working it's intermittent if it's going into second and how it's shifting from like two to three so i want to show you guys and just to show that it does have all five gears working so i don't feel like i need to open up the entire transmission and there's a couple things that can be done, like valve body gasket or some of the servos. So I want to show you guys what I've been doing. So I'm just going to go to, uh, I'm in manual one right now. Manual one. So I'm just going to drive until the RPMs get up kind of high, and then I'll shift it into two, and you can actually see the RPM change. It takes a little bit. I got to kind of work the throttle a little bit for it to shift. So RPM's kind of high, like when it would normally be shifting. Shift it into two. And there's the RPM change. And I didn't even lift my foot off the throttle that time. So there was the RPM change into second. Now let's go into third. Flares a little bit, and then it lowers RPM. Now I'm in third, so I'll accelerate a little bit more. Then I'll go into drive, so this will put it into, see the RPM change again. Now I'm in fourth. I'm running out of road here, but let's see fourth works. So second and fifth gear, so second gear and overdrive both work on the same band and the same servo. So that shows me that the all of the bands and everything are working. I guess the bands breaking or servos not working is the is a common issue in these. So I know the bands are working because or the bands are not broken because the uh, gears actually catch and the overdrive light doesn't come on. So if I kind of accelerate fast while it's in trying to go into second gear, uh, it'll start to flash the overdrive light because I think it's throwing like a gear ratio error because it's spinning the drum and it's not actually engaging. So I'm gonna try to take this thing on the highway actually and see if I can get it onto the highway without the overdrive light turning on. It takes a little bit to do it, but that'll show me that all five gears are working and including overdrive. So we just saw one through four. I'm gonna get it out on the highway and I'll show you guys that uh, it is actually working in overdrive. I should have enough room here. I'm going to go one, there I caught second, and just to verify it I'll go back down into one, see it rev up again now, so we'll catch second, now I caught second, Go up into third. Now we're in third. You can see the RPM change when it catches. So now I'll go into drive, we'll get into fourth gear. There it changes again, now we're in fourth. I'm gonna get up to about 55-ish. And then we should be able to watch it change into fifth.
in overdrive now. So I think it is actually getting into overdrive, but it's either it's maybe not holding it very strong. Um, but it shows me that everything is working, just not working properly. So I feel like all the internals on the transmission are good. It might have the change the the servos or the valve body gasket, but all the gears there are there. Everything's working, so it seems like it's mostly okay. My overdrive light is flashing. It did that when I got up to about 45 or 50, and I was kind of accelerating a little hard and not going through the gears manually. So I'm gonna put it in park, shut it off. And then I'll restart it so the light turns off. And now it's not flashing anymore. And now I'll just go through this. I'm gonna put it in drive and just kind of drive it like I would normally drive it and accelerate up to 55. And then you'll see the overdrive light come on because it's either not gonna grab second or it's not gonna grab overdrive. So there I think it skipped from first to third. It shifts it'll probably lose overdrive after a little bit see now the overdrive light comes on so I'm pretty sure it's it's slipping basically what I think is happening there is it's kind of like a Almost like a rotation fault like the drums are not rotating at the proper speed so it's not showing the proper gear ratio and it's showing that alarm that's what I think is that's what I think is happening but again I'm not really too concerned about it hopefully it's not that that big of a deal I might not even have to pull the transmission for it so that's kind of cool just wanted to show you guys that and how this thing actually runs $300 I mean People still somehow found room in their hearts to get mad about me getting this thing for $300. Uh, I'm gonna keep enjoying this thing. I might have to put a few dollars into it to get it driving, but, and it'll be okay. So that's it for this one. Just another video series to start for you guys if you're interested and maybe you could try to fix it or do some stuff. Maybe it'll help. I don't know. Let's figure this thing out and I'll show you guys what I do along the way. <laughs>